as we look at the Millennium Falcon parked as it would be in Docking Bay 94. 94. Only one Kenobi here, only one. There's another Falcon there. Right, this is the cantina shelf, and I've got a, an opening I'd like to do now to add a few more characters into here. So I went to Echo Base Live. I got a ton of figures from there recently, and there's a couple from the OT I want to open now, the original trilogy collection, so the OTC. But anyway, let's just pan across and so you can see what I have so far. Look at that, Anthony Daniels has made his way in there. All the way from episode two to four, how about that? I just have them all facing forward, just so you can see this, that the, who they are, the characters. It's not kind of set up for how it was in the film. It's more just like, I don't know, a panoramic movie poster, or should we say like maybe a collage of figures, you know what I mean? Face and forward, I love it. So if I go back here, I'll show you what I'm gonna open today, because I've got loads of characters, lots from the uh, cantina as well when I was there. I sort of stood with my mate Daniel Chart, it's like, you know, we were there. The prices were really decent. Let me mount the camera. And I just thought, just get it now, because I'll never get this stuff otherwise. So these two are in the OT. I thought I'd just do two for this episode. I have opened about three figures last time I opened of stuff. But anyway, this is from the original trilogy collection. It goes back to 2004, but these are great looking figures. I'm going to just pause, but you read up about this guy. Unbelievable, I went on Wikipedia about this guy as well. I had no idea. This, to me, was the guy who was just a harmless smoker. Just stood, minding his own business, but if you look at what he can do, and how sinister he is, I mean, it's what he says, Obi-Wan, you know, it's a wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious, and rightly so, if you've got people like that around. And then there's this guy as well. So Feltipan Travag. Now, this guy, I had to buy this when I saw this one, it was just such a recognisable cantina character. So that's why they were 20 quid each. Wow. So, But no, I got a discount. I got because I bought so many figures in one go. I got like a 20% discount, I think, which is great. That's a good thing about Echo. So that's a look at the front. Let me just show you again the backs. So just kind of before I open these things. They've got the same back, the same things on the back there. You've got Pablo Jill, Sly Moore. Who the hell is... Yaoa from the Phantom Menace. Uh huh. Okay. Take your word for that. Let me back up a minute. Hang on. There you go. Go your will to StarWars.Hasbro.com. Yes. Around right about the time that the Gandhi Clone Wars was out, I guess. I think it finished in 2004. It was between 2003 and 2004. It was the bridge to Revenge of the Sith. And before I open them, I'm just going to show you them close up in the packaging. It's getting quite dark out there. This is being filmed. This is on the 1st of September, this, but it'll probably be uploaded after that. But I want to do it in natural light. So apparently he releases these worm things out of his face. They go up your nostrils and kill you. They suck out your brain or something like that. I can't remember. I did have it turned around a minute ago for you to read it, but I didn't haven't read it for a couple of weeks. Yeah, but it's, yeah. Oh, not good. That's so awesome, isn't it? Lovely looking figure. Classic character. Aha! I've seen them in the Clone Wars as well. They've, they've got like, they're called goat something, or they've got like a goat joke in the name. The species are sort of like goat, goat hondras or something like that. You know what I mean? Because they, they look kind of goaty and they sound like that as well in the Clone Wars. I don't know. But still, I think it's doth time I got these two open, don't you think? Should I just open them old school style? Should I just do this? Should we do it? Let's do it. Oh, yeah! Come on! <laughs> yeah! Oh, you got a stand as well. That takes me back to Wandsworth 2004 was the year as well. I remember getting a Luke, original trilogy collection, Luke Jedi, you know, with the um, Jabba's Palace from from this line, which is, was a good figure at the time. It's aged a bit now, but still got that stand. That's all, got a few of them. Focus. Yeah, they're a bit clunky then. Right, let's get him open. Are you ready? Oh, 
I didn't even get to say yeah, man. Look at the way that came off clean. There's hardly any glue on it, that's why. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> wow, look at that background. There you go. There's the modal nodes there. And you've got that guy, I've forgotten his name. I do have him. I got him in a crappy job lot with no weapons, nothing. I actually thought he was from another film. I didn't realise he was in the... But I've got him up there. I've put him in the back because it's incomplete. And then this one, I've got him as well. <laughs> I want to get the Jedi version of him. I think there is one. And then uh, what's on the back of the other card? Let's have a look. Oh, you get the same one. They've done it for the... There you go. You've... Yeah, they, they did this, which is, which is a great backing. Why, why, why deviate? Right, let's get this crazy. I mean, this guy kind of scares me now. Now I know what he's capable of. I'm kind of considering him very freak freaky. I just thought he was kind of the cool guy propped up against the bar smoking. But now he's just the freak who'll suck your brains out, man, if you kind of rub him up the wrong way. Uh, don't ask him for transport to Alderaan. There's his little pipe. It's nifty, isn't it? Look at that. Very good. And that will obviously, uh, how it does fit in his mouth. See, let's go close. You get a hole for the pipe, I guess. You get two holes for his worm face features, which you never see that in the film, but obviously he can do it. Yeah, so you don't see that in the film, these things being deployed, but obviously they've either invented that feature or actually that was the way someone had set his makeup up at the time, <laughs> but they just never got deployed. I don't know, maybe you have the answer on that one, but look at him. I like his attire. He's a bit like a kind of an office attire. Officer attire. Nice to get a holster there, but I think he looks pretty cool with a gun in his hand. And I want to figure out how he can hold this. Is there flexibility on these hands? Maybe. I don't remember him. Oh, there goes this bloody facial worm. I don't remember him holding it. I remember it just being on the bar. Can't remember now. Bear with me. Okay, we saw it now. There he is. What a freaky guy he is. He's scarier than Dr. Evazan. In a way. Right, cool. Let's get him on a stand and then I'm going to show you the other guy. They just seem really tipsy. I thought there was two of them, but maybe I'm wrong. And there he is. He's already holding everything. <laughs> That's great. I love it. They're just going to blend in nicely. They're going to fit in nicely to that shelf. It's getting quite full, that shelf. But, you know, it's all right. As I said, it's just like a collage, isn't it? You know, A whole uh, ensemble of diverse aliens, you know? Brilliant. There he is. Like that. You see, these guys have got swivels with their articulation on the elbows, as you can see, but um, it's really more about how they look, and they look great. These swivels on the head as well. And uh, that's, see, it's funny that's a ball-jointed legs there. It's funny how they chose to do that, but they weren't really introducing that to the arms until later. I think the ball-jointed, well, legs and arms are what's needed overall, really, but they didn't really want to honour that then sooner in the arms more than the legs really take all the articulation out of the legs and give them just in the arms especially for a stormtrooper who stands you know what i mean these guys look great together they are quite freakish but awesome love it let's put them on the uh cantina shelf why not All right, thanks for watching that. I've just put them in there now. I've not put them exactly where I intend to put them in future. It's just because the light is going down and I want you to be able to just see them. So here is the, the new ones. But I, I think I can see him being closer to the bar. So I'll have to rearrange everything. I just couldn't really be bothered doing that right now. I just sort of, you know, give you another final look at it. And this guy, I love that guy. He's awesome. I love him. He's brilliant. I've obviously got our main, led by Obi-Wan there. You see, as I say, I'm going for that kind of cinema poster style, you know, movie movie shot. Uh, you know, it's, that's the way I want to do it. These guys can fall over. I love him, by the way, especially by that <laughs> droid reader. It works. It's not supposed to be there. He's a total Easter egg from Attack of the Clones. But And there's he. He looks pretty cool, man, leaned up against that. The bar might have little leaners like that around it, you know, there's the main guy with Wuha there, the main bar, I mean. And then, yeah, he's just awesome. I'm going to keep those on him. 
because these are freaky and it reminds me of what he can do to you. You know what I'm saying? And he's just has to have a drink because he does seem a bit uh, leathered in the movie. Anyway, thanks again for watching that. If you are new, subscribe. There's plenty more where that came from. There's got loads to open, and especially for the cantina. One thing I do have to open is I've got an upgrade for this guy, Hammerhead. I've got the um, Saga Collection one, which is a much better figure. So that one will be going on the barge. We're not wanting to waste anything. Why not? We can have a ride with Jabba. Thank you for watching one final time. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.